everyone, my name is Amber, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be telling you about all the advanced readers copies that I have to read and how well I am getting through them. I'm just going to scooch you over because I forgot to do that at the start. I'm going to have to put some graphics here, so you're going to be at a funny angle for a bit. So I first posted one of these art check-in videos back in November or December. I decided that I wanted to just chat with you and talk to you about all of the review copies I still have to read, how my NetGalley and EW percentages are doing, I said percentages really weirdly, I'm aware, let's move on. And I also want to talk about the books that I am most hyped about and also give some attention to the review copies that I haven't gotten around to just yet because it's always nice when publishers send you books and then you don't promote them. <laughs> so this is just kind of a bit of extra promo for them I guess as a way to say thank you for sending me the books. But mainly it's going to be me talking to you about my advanced readers copy problem, how many I have and what I'm going to do about it. Let me know in the comments below what your percentages are on NetGalley and or EW because I would be very curious to know. Mine are not bad but they're not the best either. I know a lot of people who have upwards of 80% on NetGalley which is what the recommended percentage is. I can't do that. I'm a lot lower than that so let me tell you what my percentages are, how many books I have to read and then we'll talk about the advanced readers copies that I've got that are coming up and I'll tell you about those. You can tell me which ones you think I should read, which ones you're excited for and just build some hype for me because clearly I need help. Currently my EW percentage is 69%. I did not laugh at that. I've read 123 books out of 179 which is quite good I think. I do have have seven left that I need to review so those seven books that I have read aren't counted towards that percentage or those numbers so really I should be at about 71 or 72 percent which is really good in my opinion. NetGalley I'm not doing so great with. I'm currently at 56 percent which means that I have read 108 books out of 193 and I only have one book to review on there so my percentage won't be going up very much. Last time I posted this video I think my EW percentage was at 70 percent so it's gone down a little bit technically kind of because I have requested more books since then but my net galley percentage has gone up by 2% because it used to be 54% and I am so happy with that I'm hoping it's going to still slowly climb throughout the year maybe by the end of the year I could be at 60 or 65% which would be a dream so I'm not horrified by these percentages I'm actually quite pleased with myself because I've been book reviewing for almost 10 years 10 years in September there's a lot that goes into it and I've taken several hiatuses and I've quit blogging and booktubing a couple of times and I've kept coming back so it's just been a bit of a build up and also some of the books that I haven't reviewed or read from 2010 or 2011 and honestly I don't have much interest in reading them anymore but I am going to still give them a fair go when I've run out of interesting things to read. In the next segment of the video I'm going to tell you about the advanced readers copies that I own that are coming out in March and April because there are quite a few. I have I should really put numbers on these. I did this last time and had to physically count, so bear with me. I have nine books coming out in the next two months that I would really like to get to. Most of these are ones that I'm quite hyped for, which is good because sometimes I do tend to lose interest when I request a book four months early and then by the time it comes to having to read it a month early or a couple of weeks early, I don't really want to because I just don't have the energy for it. To go through these really quickly, we have Elysium Girls and The Stars Were Burning Brightly, Witches of Ash and Ruin, Incendiary, The Wives, Clap When You Land, What I Like About Me, Clickbait and Don't Call the Wolf. Some of these are from NetGalley, some of these are from EW. I think the ones I'm most hyped for are Incendiary because I don't think everyone's been talking about it recently but back when the arc was uploaded to NetGalley everyone was talking about it so I was super hyped and I'm still quite excited for it especially because I'm now in a fantasy mood. So this timing is honestly perfect, I can't wait to read this one. I'm also looking forward to reading Clickbait because I think it's going to be a really easy read and I'm very curious about Clap When You Land and Elysium Girls. But other than that, I'm not really overly hyped for any of these books, which tends to happen when I request books super early and then they just sit on my Kindle for a while. So that is a shame because there are quite a few here. I don't know, which ones do you think I should read? Are you excited for any of these books? Or would you like to see me review any of them on my channel? Let me know and then I can hopefully prioritise those. Please help me build up some hype for them because I do want to read them and get my percentages down and support these authors as well. I honestly think that out of all of them, I'm going to enjoy Clickbait and Incendiary. The most. Moving swiftly on to the next segment, that is my expectations. Basically I like to talk about what I'm expecting from these advanced readers copies which I kind of touched upon in the last segment of the video and I like to tell you what kind of mood that I'm in. So at the moment I'm very much in a fantasy or sci-fi and sci-fi mood. I think this happened because back in February when I was trying to read 29 books in 29 days I read a lot of thrillers and contemporary books and I'm kind of burnt out on those. So now I'm very solidly in the fantasy mood. However, 
whenever it is more adult fantasy rather than young adult because I feel like at the moment there aren't many amazing young adult books coming out it's all kind of very much generic YA that I feel the publishers have overbought they are oversaturating the market but that's a whole like different topic I could talk about that in another video if you want me to but basically I think the market is oversaturated and so I'm kind of getting bored with YA fantasy so I'm very much in an adult fantasy and sci-fi mood that said I don't really have any arcs coming up in March or April that are adult fantasy or sci-fi that fall into those categories so that's not great like I said I think I'm going to enjoy clickbait and incendiary the most so they're probably ones I'm going to read sooner rather than later I also want to read the wives because it's quite short and the concept intrigues me except I've not heard very good things about it so that's not good I think in terms of an action plan I'm probably likely to start with the shorter books first I think on my arc spreadsheet that I have I have the page counts for all of the books and so I can sort by page and see which ones are the shortest because then that way I can get through more of them and hopefully if I'm not spending ages on books I'm not so hyped about I won't get into a reading slump. I was also thinking about doing an advanced readers copy readathon, an arc readathon if you will, or a view copy readathon uh, but I don't know when I would be doing that. It's probably going to be more of a personal thing than something that I am hosting although if you want to join in then let me know and then we can maybe arrange a group buddy read or something for or a group readathon rather for all of our leftover arcs that we have let me know if that's a good idea or not i would probably have to do it over a weekend probably maybe easter would be good for that actually i don't know let me know in the comments below i just think it would be really helpful for me to smash out a couple of arcs over a couple of days or over 24 hours maybe it could be a 24 hour readathon i don't know now moving on to the backlist titles that i want to get to i have quite a few of these as you are probably aware because i don't have much fantasy or sci-fi in my march and april releases i decided to pick out a few from my backlist reads that I could get to if the mood strikes me. So those are The Pioneer, Beyond the Red and A Spark of White Fire. I do have a physical copy of A Spark of White Fire over there and I'm probably going to pick up that one very soon because my lovely friend Kayla got it for me and it would just be nice to read it soon instead of leaving it on my shelf and waiting to read it for ages. I'm not going to lie, I'm more excited for a couple of those books than I am for most of my March and April releases so they won't necessarily take priority but they are definitely going to be ones that I gravitate towards. And very quickly I want to talk about the books that I recently read and still have to review. The first one is The Gravity of Us which is a YA contemporary. I read this one as part of the Contemporary-a-thon and I gave it two and a half to three stars. It wasn't great, in fact I thought the author did a really bad job at writing relationships and friends friendships so that wasn't good especially for a contemporary book when you expect those things to be quite strong so I gave that one a fairly average rating. I read Clown in a Cornfield which is why a horror this one is coming out in June or July of this year and it was all right it wasn't the best it was very short and easy to fly through but in terms of building suspense or anything thrilling that didn't really happen in this book it was a very very average read in my opinion and it was kind of horrific in places with like a lot of murder and gore but I wouldn't say it was very well written or well put together. The Psychology of Time Travel which I read as part of a book club at work. I'm really glad that this one was picked. This is adult fiction, science fiction about the psychology of time travel. Basically some women invent time travel back in the 70s, 80s or 90s. I'm pretty sure it's the 70s and so it kind of becomes like an everyday thing. The book addresses how time travel would affect lives and also your mental state. I enjoyed it, I gave it three stars, it was a very enjoyable book although it did get a bit confusing at times and I don't think the science of it really made much sense. Finally I read The Upside of Falling which is another way contemporary. I read this one quite recently and I can't remember what it's about. I think the two main characters get into a fake relationship. The female main character's dad is living like across town with his new wife. The male main character's dad is potentially having an affair and that is literally all I remember. I didn't really enjoy it. I gave this one two stars. I thought it was kind of boring and rushed and just there was no substance to it so I didn't enjoy that one. So those are my reading plans when it comes to my review copies. Let me know in the comments below what you liked or didn't like about this video, what review copies you have, which review copies I could read. Let's just get a conversation going and support each other in these trying times while we try to read through our backlist. I always feel really hyped after these videos so I'm hoping that I'm going to go ahead and pick up some review copies very soon. Maybe even after I turn the camera off and then I can get going on this pile. I don't know when I'm next going to post a video because originally I did plan to do it monthly but then I got really busy and decided to post a bunch of other different like series on my booktube channel so I don't really know it might be like a bi-monthly 
thing i will keep you posted on whatever i decide that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i'll speak to you all in the next one bye